What's up, dudes? Welcome back to a vlog. This is the first vlog I've done in like forever, so we'll see how this works. So it doesn't look like I've bulked up any. I'm just wearing like three shirts underneath because the nature of this video requires a lot of layers for shirts. So I've got like one, two, three, four, because I have a tank top on as well. But I have layers and there's a reason for that. So today I kind of just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys about the Halloween project that I'm working on. And also, I'm also using this little uh, very shitty microphone. I hope you guys don't mind. I'm going to see how it works if it doesn't like turn out as good as I'm hoping. Because either way, if the audio is not great. I'm still going to upload this video. So I'm just hoping that it's decent. And if it just makes some weird noise or stuff or it just doesn't pick up on stuff, then I'm not going to I'm not going to use it again. But one time thing we'll see maybe we'll use it on like other vlogs and stuff <clears throat> so i have a project that i'm working on i hinted at it a little bit on instagram and uh, it was talking about the 2003 leather face and how much i really love that leather face it's such a cool design as much as i don't care too much for the 2003 remake it's still a fun movie to watch and um i forgot what his name was i think it's andrew berninski I think that's what his name is um i hope i'm saying that right too but i'm pretty sure that's what his name is um he played leatherface he did the all of leatherfaces and stuff and he he played it in uh, the 2003 movie and in the kind of sequel or is it prequel prequel the new beginning of leatherface which i both love those movies those are really fun just dumb movies i like I, I just love them. I don't know what it is. I just really love those remakes. For a remake of a horror franchise, I think they did a pretty decent job and I really do like those movies. And I think Leatherface's design in the 2003 remake is one of my favorites, like 100%, which is why I have the Haya Toys figure coming in, coming in like April. So I'm excited for that. And also just Leatherface is like one of my favorite horror villains, I guess, out of like Jason, Freddy, and all of the others. He's probably my favorite, and I think he's got the best trilogy, but that's kind of a story for another day, really. But what I wanted to talk about, because I do believe that I have at least 85% finished this outfit. And this outfit is the 2003 Leatherface. Now, I'm going to get this straight. It's not perfect. It's 100% not perfect. I wasn't really going for 100% screen, ac screen accuracy. I just wanted something that I was happy with because, you know, I usually don't dress up a whole lot for Halloween, but after watching these movies, after watching all of these uh, movies, I've watched all of Freddy, I've watched all of Leatherface, I've watched all of Jason, finally finished that today as of recording this video. And it's, I, I, I want to become one of them. So I chose Leatherface because I love Leatherface. He's one of my favorites. So I got a bunch of stuff in for doing this character. And I just kind of wanted to show it off to you and kind of tell you the process that I did uh, with making these things. And um, hopefully this doesn't turn out to be boring. It is just a vlog. So it's just to have on in the background if you guys are bored or anything. So it's not top tier quality like I do my uh, toy reviews, which those usually don't have that much quality to them. So this one's gonna have even lower quality. So hopefully you guys are ready for rambling. So starting on this outfit, I really wanted to get the mask. The mask was something that I really wanted to get. And the first mask that I thought of was the Trick or Treat Studios mask because I saw, um, cosplay Chris's uh, custom collectible series and I saw him customize this trick-or-treat studios mask and it looks awesome so I was like sure I'll get it and um, when I received it, it looked very different from the one he got because this one is a re-release or like kind of a remake of the mask that's based on the remake so the paint job is definitely a lot more better and the hair was so much more flowy 
So I was very surprised when I when I got it in. So I was like, oh, okay, this actually looks decent. I actually really like the way this looks. The skin tone was pretty much great. It was awesome. I love the way it looks. The sculpting, top tier. I love, I love this mask sculpting, and it's beautifully done. And I just, it was so much fun. So I was really debating on what I was going to do with this mask because I didn't want to just mess it up because I've never done customized costumes and stuff because I don't I don't do that stuff. I I just customize figures. I don't customize like full on outfits and stuff. So this is pretty much my first time ever attempting to do something cosplay like. So I decided this was first attempt and usually you know, I didn't want to do something that was like cool. You know, if I try to do the Doom Slayer, I would 100% fail at that. But Leatherface, you can kind of really rough it up a bit and it still looks natural to the actual character. So I decided to do that. So I got the mask in and I tried to do a lot of the stuff cosplay Chris did. I used liquid latex um, with um, some acrylic white paint, painted that on there. Then I used some of a uh, some kiwi shoe polish which is the black and i've also used the brown as well and um i went in there with just so much stuff i also used kind of a brown acrylic paint which doesn't really stay on i know acrylic mostly flakes mostly but um i think it turned out really good so the hair with his cosplay um with his doing his mask he ripped the hair out and he glued all new pieces of hair in and his was very different because that hair on that original Trick or Treat Studios uh, Leatherface head, it was glued on there. This is like sewn in, so I didn't want to even touch that. But I think styling the hair and I doused it with hairspray and it looks beautiful. So hopefully you guys can um, get a nice feel of what I did there. And uh, yeah, let's take a look at the actual mask. So this is the finished product right here. And it's, hold on, let me try to get a little, there we go. And it's very, very nicely done. I love the way it looks. Don't mind the, uh, this, this is the only thing I could have for like an actual display stand, but it, it's probably the best I've ever done. The hair is not as soft. It was very soft and flowy when we first got it, but hitting it with a bunch of spray paint and stuff, uh, yeah, that definitely, didn't end well for the hair, but I loved the way this came out. It looks so cool. The skin tone really is what I wanted. And um, there's just so much like depth within the crevices and stuff because I really doused this mostly in these cracks and stuff with the shoe polish. I didn't use like any acrylic paints and stuff. Anywhere where you see where it's like super darkened, I just doused it with shoe polish and it came out beautifully that looks so cool there were some struggles especially with getting in between the hairs because you can probably see i don't know how you would see it but if you really just kind of move the hair back you can see the original color is still there because i really didn't want to like do anything inside the hair and this part was the trickiest getting this whole uh, bald spot because it goes from here and it just go makes its way all the way down and i really didn't want to get most of the hair you know done like that but I think it turned out perfect. And this is like my prize possession on like the cat, the, the dresser in the living room. It's not a dresser, it's a desk. It's, it's a little movie display. And that just looks awesome. The hair is beautifully done. I love the way the hair looks. The hair was very flowy, like I said, um, but slicking it back was super hard. This part does not want to go into a proper shape, so. It's pretty much just goofy like that, but I think it works really well with the Leatherface uh, whole look. So that is pretty much the first um, part of the outfit that I did. Oh, what did I do next? I'm glad you asked. But uh, I got, I went to Goodwill just to see what they had. And um, I was looking for anything that kind of resembled the suit. Because the suit is very woolly, I guess that's... A, Wait a second, it just doesn't look like any type of fabric that I would find at a Goodwill. I mean, maybe if you're lucky, but I just chose a plain, just kind of green shirt. And um, I really just roughed it up a bit. 
So I pretty much just added a lot of shoe polish to it. I cut the sleeves a little bit to make it look all nice and dirty. Added some like blood stains here and there. But um, yeah, that's basically what I did with the shirt. So this is basically what we got so far. It's just a little dirty and uh, we got the extra layers so it makes us look a little more plump. So it just looks a little extra dirty. So that's basically what I did. And it does look very nice. It is comfy too. So that is a pretty good thing to have. So this was it. And also these pants as well. These pants that I'm wearing are just like regular black jeans and um, it was very hard to find these because they are still not my size because um, I have very long legs and um, they still you know they don't really go up to my feet that well but it's funny and I also added just a little bit of uh, blood stains onto the knee parts but it's very 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 simple on how I did this I wanted this darker so we tried to like dye it with some kind of clothes dye and it did not take it at all so it pretty much just looks like this but uh, I did use some black shoe polish to kind of get in there a little bit which is why you see some spots here but honestly I don't care I think it looks pretty nice and most of it is gonna be covered by the apron and speaking of the apron that is the next thing that I got so the apron I wanted to do something nice um, I didn't know any like I should have looked into it a bit more, just a tiny bit, because um, you know I wanted something that kind of resembled, but not really. And I just looked on what was on Amazon, and this one I just thought looked decent, and um, it was pricey, like not overly pricey, but it was like almost thirty to forty dollars. But that's basically what we got so far. It's a very nice looking apron and it is like name brand and stuff so it is a decent quality and pretty much all I did was like fray the uh, top parts here the pockets because he's got two pockets here where is the other one there it is we got another pocket there and I also cut the um, bottom parts off so I think that looks decent and it's pretty accurate I guess the shirt does like flow out a lot because it is like a 2XL and I do not wear a 2XL but the apron kind of makes it less flowy so I think the apron is a pretty dope thing to have for a leather face so you just gotta slice it on in there and whoosh it around and boom yeah yeah so yeah there's that the apron does look very I think the apron does look very hip this whole waist part is tight because I did notice that like the uh, actual outfit is very tight so it's squeezing me right now but you gotta do what you gotta do so the next parts that I had to get were the bracers the tie and of course the main weapon the chainsaw which with the tie the tie is the next thing I got and I chose the nice little blue tie, which I pretty much just scuffed up. Both of these are used mainly with um, the Kiwi shoe polishes of brown and uh, black. That's mainly the main thing I use. And for the blood, I use this kind of uh, paint, which I got at Hobby Lobby on sale. And um, it works pretty well because there is a lot of blood stains from what I've noticed. And uh, the tie I did as well. Most of the scuffing, I just took an exacto knife and just kind of scuffed some parts because it ain't supposed to be perfect. But you just add the tie on and boom, there you go. You got a blue tie because this tie is blue, I think. It's very dark blue or more leaning on black, but I chose blue because that's what the figure is. So then the next part were the bracers and I didn't really want to pay like a lot for bracers and most of them were very medieval like. So I decided to take a crack at making them myself and I think they turned out pretty decent. They're mainly just little pieces of fabric that I glued on very shittily. But um, both of them I think turned out pretty nice because all you gotta do is just slide them on and it works. It works 
basically how I want it to. So I think that works out pretty nice. There is a nice range of motion with both of them. And um, if you just keep the seams to the ground so people can see them, I think that works. And I think it, you know, it's very nice. He also does have some like straps around his uh, bracers. So I might do that, maybe one or two of them. But I don't know, these things, they worked and they feel comfortable. So, yeah. So the next thing was the chainsaw. And I, in the back of my head, I was going to get a real chainsaw and just see how like childproof I can make it while still having it revved up. But then I decided, no, that's a dumb idea because I don't know what I'm doing. So we're, we're not gonna do that. Instead, Spirit Halloween has been open. So we decided to take a trip up there and see what they had and they had a pretty decent chainsaw and this is it right here so it's very customized I mainly just darkened it up with a lot of shoe polish and uh, it's still not done I think I want to add some more stuff to it I think I want to really dampen the uh, red because that does look very cartoony and in some lights the paint that I do use makes it look a little more purple I also added a, a kind of a uh, fabric key handle because it's basically is like that I just kind of glued a bunch of fabric pieces to it um, but it is a decent chainsaw it's not perfect um, but it does feel pretty high quality the only thing that I am a little bit more worried about is this little handle but it still feels very nice in quality and the best part it fucking starts and that's awesome and um, I can't really swing it around too much because the wife is sleeping. I am not because I, I don't know why. I don't, I should be asleep. I have work tomorrow. In the store, I don't know what it was, but we were, I was just swooshing it around and stuff and uh, it just started making other noises. So that was weird, but still the motor is cool and the blades do move. And um, I think that's as good as we're gonna get. And I, this thing is cool. I really do like this thing. So that is basically all that I needed to do. These still need some work. They're not 100% done. Neither is the chainsaw, but other than that, it's pretty much perfect. So it's good for me and that's what I'm happy about. So what I'm gonna do now is try it on for you guys and just show you what it looks like all together. Now, the main thing that I do wanna do is I need to add a lot of makeup stuff because I need the eyeliner because if you look at me with the mask on, I do need like to kind of cover up the eyes and stuff and I think I need to do something with my mouth and I think I might get like false teeth and stuff but we'll see how it all looks on Halloween because I think I'm going to do an update and show you guys what it all looks like on Halloween so I am hoping that you guys do enjoy it and I'm hoping you guys did enjoy this video little video. I didn't want to do a long one and um, you know I'm still uh, figuring out what to do but I decided to give you guys a little bit of an update and since I kind of posted it on Instagram I kind of as well might as well did a, uh, a little video on it and it's so cool because Andrew Boninsky actually liked the, the photo now I don't know if it's like actually him but it does say his official Instagram and he does have some photos of you know, himself and stuff so I'm just Leatherface liked my shit, so I'm definitely gonna be posting these on Instagram and tagging them. So maybe he'll like it. We'll see. Hopefully, please. I would like to see him come back though, because I like his version of Leatherface. But anyways, with all that being said, I'm gonna show you guys what this looks like, and then we're gonna end the video pretty much like that. So this has been the first vlog of October. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy, and I will see you guys in the next vlog toy review, whatever I do.
It's ruined a little. Oh, this thing is so dope. This is so cool. I love this. This sucks. Uh,